And we're live. Welcome to Sprint 18, the Sprint 18 review call with the Common Stack. Uh, let's just let's just dive in. Tam, do you want to get us started? What's this Sprint all about? Yeah, I do. And I'm going to share my screen now. And uh, Griff asked me to kick this off so I can give an update on our Sprint naming because now it's become a real thing for us. Water Meadow. Who knows what Water Meadow is? That's right. <laughs> it is the controlled irrigation to increase agricultural productivity. So you flood it so that it becomes more resilient and stronger. I, thank you, Ivy, uh, who chooses our sprint names. She always comes up with something beautiful. Normally I tell you, uh, I show you our retrospective board because this is the end of our sprint, sprint 18 and 18 uh, uh, two week periods together. But today our team was like, nah, we just want to hang out. <laughs> we want no agenda. We want just a cool conversation. And that's what we did. So I have no Miro board to show you today. But I do have the uh, TEC hatch readiness checklist. We have another uh, working group that signaled their readiness for the hatch this last sprint. It is the um, hatch outreach working group. There was a uh, impact hour campaign, a massive impact hour campaign that was finished. Um, a reminder, if you have been praised in the TEC, you have impact hours. Those impact hours will turn into hatch tokens um, or they will be lost forever to any address not activated with the trusted seed. We have contacted every single human with more than four impact hours. 63% of them um, with more than four impact hours have activated. Uh, so uh, just a successful campaign and thank you to Eduardo for that. Um, other news in the Hatch Outreach is a Hatcher, or for the Hatchers uh, to come, is a Hatcher Handbook that is in progress and will um, give a good perspective for everyone of what it means for them to participate in the Hatch. And if you want to know when that's happening or where we are in that process, um, I have this which is the uh, visual explainer, which Jeff put a lot of work into, I put a lot into a work of, into, and then Joe really polished it for us. Here's where we are. <laughs> uh, here, we just finished um, the vote. On, we finished the vote on the initial parameters. We are very close to funding the, the hatch, uh, which will happen, well, very, very soon. I'll leave it at that. And um, one last thing, I feel like this update is all about the hatcher and hat the hatch and hatchers. Is there is an exclusive can't be bought, can only be acquired through participating in the hatch. And uh, this is the T-shirt that anyone who participates in the hatch will get. Of course, there's also a female version of the same thing. Uh, it is a T-shirt that will not be available to be bought. So uh, wear it with pride when you do. Uh, and I will pass to. Livia. Thank you, Tam. So talking about hatch readiness and softgov, we have, sorry, I'm trying to share my screen. Okay, we have this vote going on. It's the impact hour intervention vote. Uh, we have had a lot of discussion in the community about how the, the praise was held the praise process and how the impact hours were distributed uh, for all stakeholders and contributors uh, building the TEC participating in the, in the cultural build. So we had eight proposals being submitted and they all had uh, very heated debates and uh, we have a lot of insights from this process and we're carrying the learnings from uh, the praise reward system forward to the DAO and hopefully to other communities too. And we're getting into that with the governance group that uh, Jess is going to talk more about. But um, the votes for this session, the primaries, they are ending right now. Uh, I mean, and by the time you're watching this video, they are going to be uh, ended already. And we're going to have a session to prepare the runoff. So the runoff will have um, two to four, probably four proposals since we have uh, many of them that are on top here with a lot of votes. And uh, the runoff will last until the 6th. So it's really important for all of you that are members of the Trusted Seed to vote, to weigh in in this discussion and to give your opinion to choosing what is the distribution moving forward. So uh, yeah, please participate. And with that, I'll pass to um, 
Jess. Thanks, Olivia. Chris is a little bit under the weather, so I don't think he's going to share with us today. I hope you feel better, Chris, unless you want to signal to us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we hope you'll feel better. Um, so yeah, I guess I will share my screen and a few big things that have been happening in the realm. The first thing is Gitcoin Grants Round 10 has ended. So a huge thank you to everybody who donated this round. It was an incredible turnout and we are continually blown away by the generosity of this community. And we are open source. We do depend on the generosity of the community. So just know that um, every bit that you gave goes a very long way to support the people of this community who are working very hard and hustling to try to build um, new ways of uh, yeah, new financial systems to hopefully fix a lot of the world's biggest challenges here. So thank you for giving. And I just wanted to go through quickly um, the grants that we were supporting this round. We had the Pambala League, which is our huge community fund. So um, we team up with Pambala in order to give extra matching. And so with that, I guess I should show the results. I haven't even seen them myself yet. To reveal the results of our Common Stack Conviction Voting Round, where all of the C-Stack holders vote for their favorite grant via Conviction Voting that get extra matching. So those that will receive extra matching are, drum roll, uh, wow, Common Stack. Man, how did we get to the top? Usually we actually try to prevent that. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't think we vote for our own grant, but thank you to the community for voting for us. That looks a bit sketchy. Griff, did you whale that vote? Oh my God. Okay, yeah, I think we try not to vote for our own grant. I never vote for our own grant, but thank you community. Um, we'll have to look into that anyway. Um, and then the second was CAD CAD. Crypto Commons Gathering, whoa, huge shout out to uh, Felix and Ju Julio. They're trying to get together uh, academic researchers to meet in Europe and basically form a community around um, bringing a lot of the common, uh, expanding commons research and academia, which is really important work. So congrats to you guys. Uh, Giveth Panvala League, our sister org who supports amazing uh, transparent charitable giving. Token Engineering Academy, happy to see them in the top of the list. Uh, they're doing amazing work and trying to scale and professionalize and add more course development to their work. TEC to fund the, the uh, common pool of resources that's gonna be advancing token engineering. Bloom Network, oh my goodness. Regenerative culture galore. Trust Lines Venezuela, congratulations as well. Um, I know there's a lot of people working down there um, to implement some of these systems that are helping people um, that need it in areas that are faced uh, with yeah, dealing with the economic hardships of COVID and everything else going on. NFT education, awesome. I hadn't seen that one yet. Hitchhiker's Guide, of course. Shevnan's soul cranking on the Hitchhiker's book, which is amazing. They just finished a chapter. Common Swarm, My Crypto, Give Trace, One Hive, and Common Simulator, Level Up. Okay, and <laughs> with that, um, I also want to share a few of the, uh, that was the main grants. Okay, so with that, I can move on to our, um, the last thing I wanted to mention, which was part of this round was also incubating the what we're calling governance. It's an interdisciplinary uh, governance research group that we're launching in partnership with the Token Engineering Academy, MetaGov, um, and Open DeFi DAO, and um, potentially a few other amazing, huge projects that are working uh, in the ecosystem to help us to take all of our, to synthesize some of our learnings from the Token Engineering Commons and a lot of these uh, deployments and implementations to uh, have more broad dialogue about the decision space and the voting space, uh, what we're coming to call and looking at polycentric governance and uh, Web3 ecosystem. So we put up a little grant to kind of kickstart and catalyze this project. Super appreciate uh, you for donating to that. And there'll be news coming up. We're uh, planning to run a, a focus research group for eight to 12 weeks starting in September. So we'll have more upcoming announcements. But if you're interested in governance research, would love, love you to reach out to us on Discord or Telegram and let us know so that we can include you in uh, updates and announcements forthcoming. So 
launching the governance. And with that, I will pass it to Griff. Nice, thank you. And uh, let's see, share some screen. It's always so hard to share screen. Okay, here we go. So of course, the biggest thing is that we're, we're so close to hatching. And the, the big news is that we found a small little bug in the hatch. So we're redeploying the hatch, the, the hatch again because the impact hours didn't quite match. The impact hour issuance didn't quite match uh, exactly the, what we expected. So we, and we found a little error in an equation and this is why we do these dress rehearsals. So we're gonna do one more uh, last dress rehearsal. I'm so happy to find these bugs. Uh, but uh, so expect that there, there may, you may be able, if you're watching this video right now, you might be able to buy into one last dress rehearsal uh, and dive into the hatch. And, and then hopefully if everything works out, we're ready to hatch. But uh, the auditors helped us find that one. So that was great. Uh, also, uh, you know, post hatch, we have a, the commons upgrade and the dashboard prototype is making major progress. Uh, the engineering work behind the scenes by Vitor and, and, and uh, YGG and, and Sam and the whole crew has been making major progress, but that's always hard to show. It's much more flashy to show off the onboarding uh, workflow that we're going to do for people to understand that this, we're building an economy. You know, this isn't a game like the common simulator. This isn't a video game. So we're, we're going to show people uh, how we're going to educate people in the onboarding uh, thing for the dashboard. So when they're trying to de uh, decide uh, your economy, your choice, when they're trying to actually pick the parameters, they understand what we're doing. And, uh, you know, if, if uh, they understand all of these things, then they can go straight to the configuration. But otherwise, we're actually going to give them like, okay, so what is the token thaw? Uh, like what is token engineering? And we're going to have walk them through these things and say, okay, what are, what do we mean by token freeze and token thaw? You know, what is the economic engine? What is what is uh, you know the which is the bonding curve? What is con how does conviction voting work? You know, you kind of have to understand a lot of these things before you can uh, make educated decisions. So uh, we're going to have this nice intro intro stage, which is being worked out by Marco. Uh, and then we'll have the actual like graphs that you play with. And this is of course just wireframes, uh, but we'll have each one of these and it's still a work in progress. Uh, so then you'll actually pick the parameters there. You'll review the choices and then you submit the choices on GitHub uh, as, we, as we tend to do. And then boom, you're done. Uh, so the workflow is there and we're making major progress. Uh, so, and that's of course what I've been working on most of this week, but then also, uh, we're onboarding a new, uh, we have a new budget, uh, structure by Rochelle. I remember, I don't know if you guys watched the old ones where it's just some hacky spreadsheet that I threw together. Oh, now we have an accountant actually looking at this stuff. How cool is that? Uh, and we're breaking it up so that we have the association in its own spreadsheet and the community in its own other spreadsheet. So the association has $31,000. Uh, it, it received uh, $18,000 in donations from, uh, from, from uh, people activating their membership. Thank you so much uh, in the last little bit. And of course, the expenses have been mostly scholarships because this was just a two-week uh, batch. And uh, major, major praise to uh, Tam and Eduardo for getting so many people to activate their memberships in the last few bits. And then the community has uh, $160,000 still. And so, uh, and uh, not very many donations in the last two weeks, but now we're gonna do this at the, on the first of every month, we're gonna have our budget holdings and it'll be much more uh, consistent. So we can really track what's going on. Uh, at this rate, we will run out of funds in March, 2022, not too shabby. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Jeff. Nice. Yeah, great to see these processes uh, taking steps forward. Amazing to see. Um, I don't have anything to share my screen and show this uh, this sprint, but uh, was deep in the, the praise analysis and engaging in our uh, exciting and uh, uh, engaging debate there. Um, we've also been uh, really busy on the Gitcoin front. Um, Jessica and I are participating in the fraud prevention team, so uh, Gitcoin has seen you know a number or massive increase in the, the amount of uh, Sybil attacks and, and bots and all sorts of other um, uh, fraud on the system. So we are, we've been working with uh, the Gitcoin team, uh, the block science team, and, and some of the Gitcoin community 
uh, both to help them uh, in the institutional design of their DAO and, and working groups, but also to catch and prevent uh, this kind of fraud to keep Gitcoin a credibly neutral uh, public goods funding mechanism for the Ethereum ecosystem. And uh, yeah, mo most of our funding over the past couple of years has come through Gitcoin grants. So we're really happy to, uh, to turn around and, le and lend a hand in uh, making sure their, their ecosystem is secure. Um, an another really exciting uh, opportunity that's on the horizon we've been discussing um, with a couple of members of one project uh, who are looking to build an ecosystem around uh, the commons. And they've spoken with several uh, sister projects such as Disco Co-op, Polo Chain, um, you know, all of these sort of commons-based DLT uh, groups. They are really eager uh, to see what we are talking about uh, built and brought to life. Uh, and we're in discussions with them right now about uh, the potential for uh, maybe even multi-year funding for the common stack project. So really exciting stuff. We are in the process of putting together a proposal uh, with uh, with one of the members there. And uh, yeah, there's there's some really um, eager people to see us succeed. So it, it feels really nice to uh, to have that support and uh, and people who are coming in and asking us, you know, what are the problems and and uh, where do we need help? So just wanted to to pass that on to the community that. Uh, yeah, there's some exciting things in the works for sure. Um, and that's all for me for this week. So I will pass to Dan. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, salute. Uh, so anyhow, like uh, thinking about the trusted seat, like uh, actually one of my one of my little plans got a got a bug. And that, that kind of sucks, but I had a new one. Um, we're trying to take care of that. But anyhow, like uh, we had 67 new applicants in, in June. That that was fun. Uh, we managed to. I mean, like a, the last Bitcoin round, we had a we had a kind of crazy things going on with kind of like an airdrop seeking profiles and kind of things like a, that went down a lot, a lot, a lot this round. So that was that was refreshing, you know, because like a, um, back then it was like almost 100 applications, and that's, that required a lot of a lot of detailed work and. Anyhow, we are at uh, 207 uh, trusted seat active members, which is super, super fun. And we had 47 uh, new activations this month uh, in June. So that's that's yeah. amazing, man. And just as well, like uh, I, we had a new process for uh, airdropping CS log, and Tamara didn't mention that, but she was very on top of that with Ivy. And I'm going to show you a little bit about that. But basically, I just went over everybody that we had before, like, hey, you got some CS love that you shall claim your swag. So that's that's something fun. And managed to have some fun conversations with some of you. And um, yeah, and um, just as well, looking at amazing work from actually from, from the Hatcher reach out team by Chan and Eduardo on some of the people like uh, in the trusted seat that had some maybe not much impact hours, but they probably should get them as well. And yeah, and in that sense, um, myself, I made a lot of adjustments in terms of like uh, uh, updating emails and uh, eat addresses and a bunch of stuff this is spring. If you had an issue like that, please let me know. Just ping me and I'll take care of that like right away. And just as well, let me share my screen uh, for a second here. Where am I? Okay, yeah. So. Uh, also, been doing a lot of work with. Whoops, I'm not showing the right screen. You're seeing like a, a weird uh, <laughs> Venezuelan thing here checking my mail in the real world, not even my email. But anyway, like uh, we had uh, Heather is hoping now to find like a, a junior gardener for the trusted seat. And actually, somebody, if you know people, we are ideally hiding in Latin America. So it's kind of like a Mike Dyson and somebody from one of these emerging markets that I'm in Venezuela, you guys, some of you guys may not know that. So thinking about, I've been chatting with some peeps in Venezuela and other places in Latin America, especially just as well with in Buenos Aires. And I just want to get a lot of praise to Heather who has been a huge help in the end of hiding manager, like uh, amazing things. And what I was mentioning about CS Love, let me see if I can show you guys this. But now in the membership tab, you can see the CS Love. And this is something like, maybe you don't know, did I go CS Lab? I mean, I, did I, I activated, did I spend that? Maybe you didn't. So this is one way you can check it out yourself. We are probably just going to reach out to people at some point in the future again, like, hey, it's been a month. You got some swag and claim. Ah, that's good. 
And this is one of the beautiful things that made, uh, was made to happen by, by the death team. So, I mean, Merlin, Christopher, but just as well, I just wanted to show you very quickly this. <laughs> we have started having this beautiful brainstorm with Christopher on the future of the CS membership, like the dad. So how is this going to look, you know, like uh, brainstorming a lot of questions around these things and user personas and just as well. This was a particip participatory design process with the team that was very beautiful, like the kinds of things that we really want this thing to work for you. Uh, so we started sorting actually today. Um, well, it's going to be a in the past for you, but anyway, <laughs> when you see this, but basically how we get people to participate, get help inside the app. So maybe you're thinking about, you know, activating, but you just don't know just yet, or maybe you don't remember your email address, so getting help around there. Uh, information hub through this perspective, it's stats, matchmaking uh, members in the trusted seat, some, per some upgrades to the user journey, uh, how do we promote inside of the, of the DAB itself, and just as well, like uh, the logic of the ecosystem member profile kind of approach. Like, so maybe you had a membership profile in there. This is going to take a lot of work and it's going to be over time. And yeah, <laughs> so if you had ideas as well on how to improve the experience of the DAB, just reach out. Reach out to me. You can, of course, reach out to Tam and Christopher directly. Um, but yeah, anytime we're happy to listen to you. And that's, that's very rewarding in itself. So back to you, Griff. Nice. Well, as always, there's so many contributors, you know, there's just seven of us in this call, although major praise goes to Chris, of course, for all of his work. He's under the weather now. He's in the call, but he couldn't actually present himself. So what a trooper. Uh, and he, he did so much work this week, but uh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't actually prepared to tell you what he did. So I'm sorry I didn't write that down. I have these other guys, though, that I did write down. Major praise to Ivy for picking the name of the sprint and doing all the work that she does every sprint to get us ready for uh, do, doing all the regular work for us behind the scenes that make us look so good. Uh, and then uh, major praise to Eduardo, Chewy, Sam, Wonka, Zep, Santi, Sebnem, YGG. Uh, all of them are community stewards that have got us ready to the, to this point in the hatch, and, and uh, we're so close. Uh, also praise to Vive IV, Marco, Ludo, Nicolene for getting the swag store up. Uh, Wesley for token log, Eduardo for all the work in the Hatcher outreach and helping get so many members uh, activated. Heater, Craig, Akene, and Chris for their Gitcoin work, uh, making us have such a successful round. Uh, also, Neron for pushing Panvala, which we always have everyone donate with. Uh, Marco, Mitch, Lauren, Nuggin, Nate, Zep, YGG, Sem, and Muhammad for their work on the dashboard. So much work behind the scenes, behind that Figma, you wouldn't believe. Also, major praise to Sem, Paulo, and Adria for finding the hatch bug in their auditing process. Um, also, praise to Christopher, Merlin, and Amin for the great dashboard work. And Christopher for taking the lead of the dashboard. It's so cool. It's moving, moving so smoothly. I want to praise Heather for her work. Uh, her hiring work, searching, helping us search for the junior gardener and also hiring for Shell. And Julie, our event coordinator, which I want to end on, uh, where TEC is going strong in Paris. A lot of us will be there. So uh, if you're around, make sure to look for some TEC swag, look for the TEC people and come talk to us if you're coming to Paris. Uh, and with that, Sprint 18 is complete.